Hi everyone, hope you had a good week and a good Yom Tov. Hate to be the one to break it to you, but it's nearly Shabbos again. So you need to start getting busy in the kitchen again. But just um, a few short words on the set for this week. It's Parshas Nosso, and in Parshas Nosso we read about the Nozir. So the Nozir is somebody who takes upon himself a vow to deny himself some of life's physical pleasures for a short amount of time. Um, so for example, he might take it on for a month that for that month he doesn't cut his hair and he doesn't drink any alcohol and he uses that time to focus on spirituality. And it's always struck me as a bit of a strange concept because it's not really a very Jewish idea to deny ourselves life's physical pleasures. We're not monks living on a hilltop somewhere. That's not what Judaism is about. We're very into using the physical world and getting involved in the physicalities, but in a kodosh way by elevating it. So we do drink alcohol, but we use it at all of our special occasions. We make kiddush for Shabbos meals, at, um, we use it at a wedding, at a bris mila. On all our special occasions, we use alcohol and we make a bracha on it in a way to elevate it. And, you know, for uh, everything in the world, there's a time and a place in Judaism. There's nothing that's off limits totally. We like food, we have food and, you know, we're not always fasting, but we do have some fast days and we are limited on which food we do eat and we don't eat. But this idea of just completely denying yourself something is not really a very Jewish concept. So why is it telling us about the Nazi? Is this Is this meant to be a higher level that we're meant to aspire to? Or is this something else? So I think actually what he's doing is just for a short amount of time, it's almost like a detox program. He's saying just for this short amount of time, it's not something I'm taking on forever. It's not a lifetime goal or aspiration, but I've somewhat lost my way. And, you know, I'm struggling to actually focus my physical activities in a spiritual way. So, you know, I am involved in the world, but I'm not quite making that connection between the physicality and the spirituality. So for a short amount of time, it's a bit like with a, you know, weight loss program. He has this ideal goal or weight, weight um, that he's trying to get to. And that's his target. So by the end of this Nozze program, he's going to be at his target spiritual weight. And after that, he can resume life as normal and incorporate the physicality and the spirituality and find a way to mesh the two together. And actually, at the end of this period of time, he brings a korban and he brings a korban chatos. Why does he bring a sin offering? Because actually he's taken on something that didn't need to be done. The Torah tells us all the things we're not allowed to do. And these are not these are not things that we're not allowed to do, cutting our hair and drinking wine. So it's almost an apology that he had to get to, you know, use this program um, that had got to that level where he was so much struggling that he couldn't um, make his physical life spiritual and he had to do this detox program. But now that he's found his way again, the first thing he does after bringing Corbin is actually to drink a glass of wine to show that actually it's fine to drink wine, it's fine to have physical pleasures, but, you know, make a bracha, elevate it, find a way to infuse it with spirituality. And I actually really like this idea of having like a spiritual detox. So maybe it's something that we could incorporate. We've done the growing our hair thing during lockdown. And I don't think it made any of us that much more spiritual. We definitely didn't do the limiting the alcohol intake during lockdown. So that's something we could think about. But in other ways, maybe there are things that we could focus on just for a short amount of time, even if it's only a day or a week, that maybe we use our time more productively. Maybe we have conversations with friends that are on a more meaningful level, not as superficial as they normally are. Just make some time in our week to refocus and reprioritize and think, you know, what am I doing with my time? Where am I going? I quite like that idea. And I think that's a concept that the Nazir is trying to teach us. Have a good week and a good Shabbos.